Hey everybody, it's I'm a Putz, and today is one of my favorite days of all time. It's the hot dog challenge. Yes, we're going to see which of these clubs, these clubhouses, make the best hot dogs. That's right, today is the start of the hot dog challenge. And the first dog up is the Bell Meadows. Bell Meadows, it's in Harrison County. It's an 18 hole. It's an old Jones course. It's a nice course, but the competition starts now. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good dog. We got mustard, we got ketchup, we got the onions. They got their their chili sauce. I know everybody across the country says stuff different about that, but it's very good. You can tell it hasn't been rolling on one of those little cookers all day. Or boiling all day but it's pretty good we'll see what the competition does throughout the day but I'd say Bell Meadows is they're definitely not going to be at the bottom that's for sure stick around well that was really cool. Uh, that Bell Meadows visit was really cool. And by the way, it has a beautiful course. And it's an 18, but it's public. There's, I think there's memberships, I think, to it too. But uh, the reason I was there is, I mean, most of the things I do are nine old courses, but that's a public course. Anybody can go there and play. And you can play nine or 18. You don't have to play 18 either. But yeah, and that's an old Jones course. So uh, it's been around here, you know, in this area for a really long time but it's a quality layout. Uh, I know there's a Jones Trail that cuts through Alabama because I usually go to Alabama usually in the summertime or whatever. And it, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's still the same, same designer. But we're off to uh, the next stop is um, Barber Country Club. And uh, we're going up the road here to check out what their dog can do and uh, see how it measures up. And at the end, I'm going to have all this in like a tier system so you can see where these places may land, at least <laughs> to me. But you want to look and notice, I probably know a little bit about hot dogs. Uh, so uh, I was just talking to a young guy outside the parking lot and uh, he knew instantly that I was probably reviewing hot dogs. And I think it had a lot to do with my build. But um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how the rest of this trip goes. Uh, it's a very interesting trip. To, I'm very happy about this trip. This is uh, this is just all fun. So we'll see you here in a minute. We're at the Barber Country Club, which I do enjoy. It has it's beautiful, beautiful course. And we're here for their dog. Now listen, already it's loaded up. I got by the way, all the dogs I'm eating today are whatever they call everything. Like, I'm just getting a dog with what, everything that they put on it. And it looks like it's, uh, you got your chili, you got your onions. I'm going to guess mustard's probably under here. And the dog and the bun. The bun seems to be pretty fresh, which, by the way, I do like. And uh, there's quite a few onions on here, which I'm not an onion hater. So that's a good thing to me. So let's see. digging something here something that's a little different hmm. there's a little snap to the dog usually I wouldn't know this because I'm not making these things but usually that consists of being like all beef which I'm always pro all beef but I gotta say, in all honesty, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty good hot dog. Yeah. And I do dig that it's different. It's not your run of the mill. There's the dog itself, by the way, and I'm thinking that that's a quality thing. 
So, hey, if you're up here busting balls at the Barber Country Club, make sure you can get yourself a dog or two. I'm sure you'll dig it. Everybody, we're back in uh, rolling down the highway to the next stop. Um, I want to say that, uh, of course, uh, that Barber Country Club, uh, the course is just beautiful. I think it's very, for a nine hole course, getting better than that, I definitely think it's tough. But, um, uh, and I do give a lot of props to the fellas work really hard to and ladies to make it that that nice but I'll tell you what now the dog uh, the dog I enjoyed the dog I think if uh, if you're out there you should try a dog I do did my favorite part I think of this in particular dog to me was that the dog itself was kind of different and it has that whole like snap which I, I dig I know that I know for a fact that like Chicago type dogs have that snap to them. Uh, uh, it's a casing thing, which I kind of, I, I actually do dig that. And they definitely weren't light on the onions, which I'm an onion fan. So uh, uh, the chili, it was, it was pretty good. It wasn't, it wasn't spectacular, but it was pretty good. Uh, the dog, though, says a lot. That's the part that's pretty much the most important, by the way. So uh, we'll see. We'll check down the road here on the next one. We'll see uh, what comes up. I think the next stop is going to be Sunnycroft, I think. So we're going to go to Sunnycroft, and then we'll tell you what we think about that. All right? We'll be back. Hey, everybody. All right, now I'm here at Sunnycroft, a nine-hole course inside of Harrison County, Clarksburg area. Uh, really nice the people are really nice you can see how pretty it is a lot of rolling hills on this course i don't know if you ever get flat ground on this course but we're here for the dogs today it's the dog review and uh they set me up with what they call their dog with everything it's the presidential and this dog has uh the onions and the chili and the mustard but it also has cheese and jalapenos so uh, i hope all my parts can handle this you know mm -hmm. this might be something a little special i'm telling you i probably look like it probably stuff all over me but this little combination they got going here at Sunnycroft, this might be something. The bun's pretty fresh. They they weren't chintzy on the onions. The cheese is legit. The dog, it seems pretty okay or whatever, but the chili's very good and the jalapenos. I'm a jalapeno fan too, so this collision of goods, it's 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 kind of high up on the on the on the tier list, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of recommending if you come out here and play your nine or go around and play it twice for 18, uh, make sure you throw in a presidential. That's the dog they're calling here. This is the presidential. I think you'll enjoy it. We were just at Sunnycroft. Uh, wow, I think I got hit by a surprise there. Uh, you know, uh, by the way, this is all even Steven, like uh, in my little world of fairness. I just tell these places, hey, give me whatever hot dog you have with everything on it. Whatever your everything is, that's what I want. So, wow, they, they had a little more extras, which I think maybe the cheat code. <laughs> Uh, well, um, yeah, I will say very, very tasty dog. And I, uh, I mean, it, it was, it was something. I mean, I think it's something kind of special. There was, uh, they called it the presidential, which first of all made me laugh. I love that this dog had a title. That's funny all by itself. But okay, uh, the presidential, and, uh, I would recommend for sure. 
but we're on to see now this is a tier list so you you'll you'll be able to see how these all line up um, uh, for sure but if you guys I mean just like I said before if you guys dig this let me know in the comments and I we can do more of this type stuff uh, especially if you, you want me to go to more courses to tell you because I think on this this video in particular I'm gonna do five and then if, if everybody digs it, I'll do maybe like I can do five more. And, and I know some of you out there that are that actually golf know not every golf course is two feet from each other. So you gotta you gotta get to these places and stuff. So I'm trying all I can to and in West Virginia, some of the traveling is not the easiest. There's lots of of course windy roads and stuff and nothing's near each other and uh, so yeah, it takes a little bit to get to a few places, but but hang in there. We're off to uh, my little home spot, my little uh, deer field. We'll, we'll try the deer field dog, and what you've heard me say before is pretty good because legitimately it is pretty good. But we're going to do it along with everybody else and fit it into a tier, and then we're going to go uh, finish off today at Apple Valley. Um, but we'll do we'll do that after we get uh, down here to deer, Deerfield and, uh, and then we'll you know finish up there. So just hang in there. By the way, with our tier system, and if you guys, of course, you definitely need to comment if you want to see more videos like this or not, but in our tier system, if, as we get more in it, like let's just say I go the next time and I go to Tiger, uh, you, you know, maybe it's lesser or more or whatever it can move the dogs in the tier like as I learn how much better or worse they are than their competitors you know that could push up somebody maybe Lake Floyd comes up a little bit well hello everybody this is uh, we're at Deerfield we're at Deerfield where uh, I have my membership or whatever but this is the Deerfield dog and this is one with everything at it and we got ketchup and mustard and there's the onions and the chili and uh, the bun seems to be pretty fresh and uh, you know it's a it's again a hot dog with everything this is what they call everything so let's take a let's take a chance at it here hmm that's pretty good that's pretty good dog I do. I think they could have put a little more onion on it though. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty good dog. Um, I do think there's ketchup and mustard on this too. Sometimes they don't put ketchup on them and stuff. But it seems to be pretty fresh. The dog seems to be pretty fresh. I'm still thinking it's more your regular old uh, pork and bird kind of thing, hot dog, but. It's, it's pretty good. It, there's a, the chili's got like a peppery kind of thing going on, I think. And I mean like pepper, like black pepper kind of thing, not like hot peppers and all that. But it's, it's pretty good. So we'll see where it lands on the tier. All right, everybody. Well, we were just at Deerfield, and I'm telling you, I think I've said this before. That's a pretty good hot dog, man. I mean, being honest, I've had quite a few of them now over the time I've been a member there and stuff. And uh, I've only had one time I went in there and the dog was kind of like, meh. That's a pretty good hot dog, man. Uh, good chili. The chili, I think, it's it's a little bit different. They've done something to it, uh, which I do think is pretty vital in the world of a hot dog. Uh, and, and when I said peppery, the peppery is right, but it's not pepper like the plant. I meant definitely like more like a peppery, black peppery kind of thing. But uh, it's very, very good. Uh, the, the stuff seemed to be pretty fresh. Everything seemed to be fresh. Um, I think, I believe it would be fairly, do fairly well in the tier system. I think it's going to be uh, pretty safe where it lands. Um, but, uh, and, and by the way, uh, when I say this, and I've made it, I've already made it like clear. I'm not hiding anything. Yes, I'm a member there, but you know I'm not married to anybody there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not 
I'm not praising the dog for because of a member there. Uh, the dog's, you know, it's still a damn hot dog. You know what I mean? But uh, but it's good. I mean, it's really it's pretty good. So we'll see how things go. And uh, of course, again, like uh, many things, everybody's got their own taste and taste buds and things they like. And then just because I say this, that, or the other, it legitimately doesn't mean a thing. So, but. Hopefully I'm giving you a clue of what I think tastes good and stuff. So uh, we'll be, we're going to finish off today with um, Apple Valley. And, um, and by the way, we'll be uh, also talking about the giveaway because we did, you know, uh, get to our mark of over 50 subscribers. So we got the nitrate box of nitro liquids to give away. And we'll be telling you how that all has, that all happens here when we get done with Apple Valley. So we'll see you guys down in Apple Valley. Your list is gonna be uh, pretty good. And so far, of course, you know, I don't think anything is, I would recommend all of them. They're all, I mean, so far everything's been good. I mean, now uh, I do believe there's different levels, which there you're gonna see uh, of good. Um, and of course, uh, I think they were all, I think everything was pretty fresh, and uh, I don't think, because one of the worst things to me about the world of dogs, and you know it in seconds, if stuff's been sitting around, oh, it's terrible, and that's terrible, and I can say that not one of these things has been in that whole world, so that's really good, uh, but yeah, I mean, they're definitely different, and they all have been different, uh, which is, hey, you know what, be the same, I... I do kind of dig the, um, to me, which is, a, it is definitely a factor in the area that I live. Chili's pretty, pretty important. And, uh, uh, what's what we call chili. I know some places call that sauce or whatever. We don't usually use the word sauce. We usually say chili here. But, um, and it, yeah, it doesn't have beans in it either. It's not that kind of chili. Uh, but it, uh. I mean, it's pretty important, and I do think the Deerfield, my little homie course, Deerfield, the, 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 their chili is pretty good. The chili is pretty good. Um, I know um, it's not on this video it, per se, but that was definitely a weakness. And uh, if you guys remember when I was at Lake Floyd, um, that was probably the the number one weakness at Lake Floyd was the chili. The chili was like, I don't know, it just it seemed like they just threw some chili. Like, nobody cared about the chili so much. It was like, hey, the hot dog's good, everything's good, you have ketchup, you can put stuff on it if you want, you know what I mean? I, that part, I was like, ah, you gotta care for the chili a little bit. You gotta, you gotta do a little bit for the chili. So, I mean, yeah, we're looking at all the little factors, though. I like when you throw on onion. I like when they're giving you something. Um, I won't uh, be talking about the price of anything, but they're all all similar money, all reasonable, nothing crazy. Uh, I can tell you that it didn't matter where I was at, you paid about the same money for every dog. And uh, But we'll see how Apple Valley does, because I, I have never, by the way, ever had a dog at Apple Valley. Well, I haven't had a dog at a few of these places, but... Um, but I've never had a dog at Apple Valley, so we'll see how that goes here in just a few. Well, here's a good one. Of course, this tells you, too, that we didn't call the people ahead of time or anything. We went to these golf courses just like it was a regular day at the golf course. Guess what? Apple Valley told me. No dogs. No dogs today. We got no dogs. So, well, I'll just say this. That won't look great on the tier. Uh, when we're doing our tier, uh, Apple Valley's gonna suffer quite a bit for not having a dog to put in the test, uh, in the contest here, because, you know, you gotta have a dog. You gotta have it. By the way, you know, this is the middle of the day, and the dog is on the menu at Apple Valley. It's not like I was asking for something that I'm supposed to make. So that's gonna hurt in the tier list. 
just saying. But now we're off uh, back to the we've we've traveled all over the place, which is, that also is you know kind of discern you know makes me a little bit unhappy, you know, because traveling from the people locally would totally understand this, but I understand that a lot of people wouldn't. But going from Deerfield to Apple Valley is like you're talking a couple counties and uh, long distance is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, to not get a dog after getting there, mm, that's a little hard. Um, but uh, I will say this, which is now I got time to talk about this. Uh, I hope you guys all, you know, jump on and follow me on Instagram. That's a new thing for me. And on Instagram, I think it's um, I'm a putz Y T. And um, of course, that's YouTube. I mean, people with sense would probably already pick that up. But uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. There'll be a lot of stuff there, and there's a there's a giant reason, of course. Uh, I'm doing that other social media stuff is to do what I'm going to talk about now. Uh, we did we did the thing where we, we did it. Uh, we got past the 50 mark on subscribers, and I said that we'd be giving away a, um, a box of uh, nitro liquids, and I do have those to, to give out to the winner, but here's how it's got to go. Uh, you, you, what you need to do is you need to make a comment on this video that you're watching right now make a comment on it and in that comment that you make tag your instagram handle so that i'm able to contact you to figure out how i'll give you these bottles if i gotta mail them or if i gotta you know if you gotta we gotta meet some whatever however it happens but the way to contact there's because there's not really some other way to to contact you if I didn't do these other social media pro, uh, platforms, so uh, and I'm not, I'm not, I want if I'm giving away something, I want you to actually get it. It's not a, I'm not doing a fake thing here. And by the way, you can read in the description all the rules and stuff to to, show, to let YouTube know that they're not tied to any liabilities and all that stuff, because they got some serious, you know, specific rules about contest and stuff. But what you'll do is you'll comment on the video and. After your comment on the video, you leave your Instagram tag on there, your handle, whatever it is you have on Instagram. And then it'll be in a lottery, and uh, we'll spin the wheel, or however we do it, the balls will pop. And then when we pull the name, I'll contact you that you have won the uh, nitro box of nitro liquids. And uh, that's, that's how it'll go. And uh, I think in the future, that'll be a good way to make these things happen. I'll tell you this for sure. Um, well, that 100 mark, which is a huge number for me personally, if we can get to 100, when we break the 100, I will give away uh, an entire set of irons. I, I, at the moment, I'm thinking they're going to be the set of uh, uh, Callaway Diablos I got that I think you've all seen and that I had it played on a Lake Floyd course or something like that. And uh, they're really, really, really nice. Got new grips on them and everything. And their value is still close to $300. So uh, when we get to that hundred, we'll have that, we'll have that giveaway, the big giveaway. But, uh, and it's the whole, I mean, it's all the irons of that set. So it's real nice. So we'll see how it goes, but please comment, leave that Instagram and join me, follow me on Instagram. So there you go. Thank you for watching.